welcome back so in today's tutorial we'll be looking on to one couple of useful attributes okay or uh, dictionary useful attributes which i was using i was i am building one of the application okay and i was facing some difficulties so i encountered this attributes and i found it useful so i am creating this video for the same so i am working on a, one integration thing okay it will be a generic integration which can a generic flow which can trigger multiple integration so if i go over here this is so i've created a standalone table for it and my planning is like key that will be name that will be description of the api and based on the payload it will randomly pick up the payload and it will hit the apis okay so while i i was working on it so i faced couple of difficulties and i am trying to solve the difficulties out so first and foremost thing is like currently it's one record only but in excel i have a lot of records right so when i when i am having a lot of records i want all this information what exactly that integration is doing on the list view only because this is quite hectic right uh to see what exactly it's 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 not clear to me ki what exactly it's doing from a list view so how we can do that so for that i will just open this record out and this is a description so i want to see the entire description on the list view so for that what i can do i can go to description right click on description i can do configure dictionary and at the back bottom we'll have the attributes so out of work service now has a lot of attributes so you can use those out okay you can there are a lot but uh, in today's tutorial i'll be showing two so for this kind of use case right where you want to see uh, information about something as a whole on the list view you can add this value because as you can see on the list view the field is getting truncated after certain character limits right so for that what you can do you can add a attribute called not truncate okay. so it will it will avoid the truncation of the field and you can just mention it as true so we will see what exactly it's doing say if i submit it out and then if we go to the list view so if i go to my integration not on this i want a list view integrations so now you can see the information which was getting truncated before is not getting truncated and i can see the entire information so it's pretty clear to me what exactly this particular api is doing right now the next problem statement for me is this json now you know this json is pretty scrambled right i am not able to get what exactly the keys or what is the values and all the thing is completely messed up but if you do show xml right it's pretty clear over here when you do the show xml i want this kind of thing for the json also how i can achieve the same so for that what you have to do you just right click on payload on the field what where you want to do this but keep in mind it should be a json or payload kind of field right and you can do the configure dictionary now there is one more helpful attribute to solve this particular problem so i will again go to attributes we will click new and here we have a attribute called json view so if i type json so there is attribute called json view and i will mark it as true let's see what exactly it will do i'll submit it out and now we will go back to our integration record so it will be like oh still still it's the same scrambled right but now you can see this icon over here okay it will showcase that data the way xml was shown okay in a pretty format okay So if I click on the same, now what it will do? It will render it out, and now you can see it. It has predefined that particular payload, and now it's of use for me, right? Now I can use it out. I I can get the clear information what exactly it's doing. So this was the two attributes. Of one was the JSON view, where you can add a con a button kind of thing, okay, which will format your scrambled JSON into a prettier format, okay. and showcase it to you and the second was a non truncated when you want when certain field holds a huge information and you want to see that information on the list view 
without getting truncated so you can use that we would call no truncated so this is all for today's tutorial it was pretty small tutorial today okay but i i found it useful that's why i'm sharing it with you so this is all for today's tutorial if you like it out please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notified of my upcoming videos in the future till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day ahead thank you